Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed of Oman, where he expressed his deep condolences on the demise of the President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the late His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, praying Allah Almighty to rest his soul in peace. The custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, today received His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, at Al Safa Palace in Mecca. During the meeting, the custodian of the two holy mosques highlighted ongoing collaboration and coordination between the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Kingdom of Bahrain, and extended his best wishes to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, wishing Bahrain and its people continued progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed thanks to the custodian of the two holy mosques for highlighting the extensive and ongoing cooperation between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, stressing that this historic partnership is rooted in a joint commitment to advance shared strategic interests. His Royal Highness went on to emphasize the instrumental role Saudi Arabia continues to play in supporting Arab and Islamic security and development issues while highlighting the Saudi-led Arab coalition's extensive efforts to restore security and stability in Yemen and protect its citizens. His Royal Highness then highlighted Saudi Arabia's long-standing and steadfast commitment to improving infrastructure and facilitating services for all Muslims coming to Mecca to perform Hajj. His Royal Highness concluded by conveying His Majesty's best wishes to the custodian of the two holy mosques and affirmed Bahrain's commitment to continue extending collaboration between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia across all levels. Members of the royal family and other senior officials also attended the meeting. Following the meeting, the custodian of the two holy mosques hosted an iftar banquet for His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and his accompanying delegation. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today visited the Bahrain Defence Force Task Forces, participated in the Saudi-led Arab coalition and stationed in Jazan and Al Ta'if, Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness expressed his deep pride in the successful and continued participation of the BDF to restore legitimacy in Yemen under Operation Restoring Hope, in line with the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He went on to convey the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty the King to the BDF for their efforts and sacrifices, wishing them victory and success in their ongoing endeavors. His Royal Highness then underscored the important and influential role of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, in promoting collective action to overcome challenges, protect gains, and safeguard humanity. In in line with Arab and Islamic principles and values. During meetings with the Royal Bahraini Artillery Task Force in Jazan and the Royal Bahraini Air Force Task Force in King Fahad Air Base in Al Ta'if, His Royal Highness received operational briefings and inspected BDF military assets supporting Operation Restoring Hope. His Royal Highness then praised the task force's sacrifices and efforts to protect security and stability in the region and alleviate the suffering of the Yemeni people caused by external interference. His Royal Highness went on to recognize the sacrifices made by the Kingdom's fallen servicemen since the beginning of the Saudi-led coalition's operations in Yemen. He highlighted that these soldiers presented the finest examples in modern history by paying the ultimate sacrifice in fulfilling of their duty towards their nation and to uphold the values of peace and justice.
The Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, chaired today the Traffic Council meeting in the presence of the Minister of Education, Majid Al Nuaimi, the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Islam Khalaf, the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication, Kamel bin Ahmed, and the CEO of the Urban Planning and Development Authority, Sheikh Naif bin Khalid Al Khalifa. The Minister of Interior welcomed the members of the Council, stressing the importance of continuing all efforts aimed at promoting traffic safety. The Minister of Education expressed appreciation for the role of the General Directorate of Traffic and the Community Police and their development to achieve safety and security throughout the academic year. After that, the Council discussed the role of inspection campaigns on laborers who transport passengers without a license. It also reviewed the technical requirements for vehicle accommodation sites for car rental activity. In this context, the Minister stressed the need of these sites to comply with the requirements of security and safety and to allow the smooth flow of traffic while taking into account the planning of the main areas and streets. During the meeting, the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication briefed the Council on the Light Rails project, the appointment of a global consulting firm to develop the preliminary designs for the first phase of the project and the type of technology used. The Minister of Works also briefed the Council on a number of projects including West Rivas Clock Roundabout Intersection and the first phase of the smart transportation systems. The Council also followed up on the installation of electronic road signs. The Council was also briefed on the project to update the transportation model and the Kingdom's strategic transportation plan. The Minister of Interior expressed thanks and appreciation to the members of the Traffic Council for their continuous efforts to achieve traffic safety. He also noted the importance of responding swiftly to traffic congestions and accidents. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, this is Bahrain society held its annual Ghabga under the theme the Ghabga of Love. In the presence of the Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil bin Muhammad Al Humaydan, and the Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Environment and President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, as well as a large presence of invitees, diplomatic crops officials, and representatives from civil community organizations, the Minister of Labor conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and his appreciation to the organizers of the event noting that it reflects the honorable and modern image of the kingdom and is characterized by values of tolerance and cultural and social solidarity. He affirmed that the ceremony embodies the coexistence between various groups in the kingdom, highlighting their keenness on raising the status of Bahrain in various social, religious and global events. For his part, the chairman of the Board of Trustees of King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Existence, Sheikh Dr. Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, hailed the unlimited support of His Majesty the King to advance the efforts of coexistence, peace and freedom of religion to unparalleled levels. Levels. For her part, the Deputy President of King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence and President of This is Bahrain Society, Batsi Matheson, expressed thanks and appreciation to Bahrain for the model it represents in providing a safe environment that is characterized by respect to every sect and doctrine. She affirmed that the annual event gathers representatives from the groups of Bahraini society, religious leaders, diplomatic corps officials and media figures. During the ceremony, a film about the initiatives of His Majesty the King of Religious Freedoms in Bahrain was screened. The Ministry of Housing distributed more than 3,000 ready housing units in Salman City to eligible citizens, in parallel with handing over the keys of Khalifa City housing units. This step comes in line with the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to distribute 5,000 housing units to meet the needs of citizens and provide them with a decent means of living. Salman Housing City is the largest city in terms of area and number of units. The city has a capacity to accommodate more than 100,000 people and includes six suburbs. The Ministry of Housing is trying to quickly complete its infrastructure and basic land services. 
an initiative by the Conserving Bounties, a local non-profit organization, helps battling staggering food waste in the kingdom, especially in Ramadan. I was there and I filed in this report. A large-scale food donation drive across the kingdom has been launched by the Conserving Bounty Society to support families and laborers with well-balanced meals sourced from large gathering events and venues that dramatically increased during the holy month of Ramadan by managing the logistics of food collection, meal preparation, packing and redistribution. Our team, uh, before packing the food, they will be exercising some hygiene practices and because they have trained, they have got a well trained uh, by the Egyptian uh, food bank. Uh, they are using special gowns and all the hygiene tools, uh, mask and hair net and uh, also uh, they will be using gloves before packing the food. With current estimates counting around 10,000 meals wasted in Bahrain daily, the initiative highlights a commitment to help battle staggering food waste in the kingdom. The quantity of food waste reaches to 400 tons, which is 400,000 kilos during the normal days. And it gets increased to 600 tons during the month of Ramadan. Conserving Bounties has delivered more than 170,000 meals up to date. The non-profit organization distributes 500 meals a day, providing healthy food for 300 families in Bahrain and more than 3,000 laborers. During the Ramadan period, we have a lot of food leftovers. So uh, as a corporate social responsibility of our organization, we thought that we... Uh, tie up with the uh, Bahrain Food Bank. In an effort to generate more meals and benefit a larger audience, the Conserving Bounty Societies is also calling on the local community, including corporates, hotels, restaurants, supermarkets and individuals to come forward and contribute towards the cause. Interested parties can contact the society on 334-994-99 to get more details on the initiative. This initiative is a great example of social responsibility that saves tons of excessive food and provided as safely packed meals for less fortunate families. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heva Abdul